Hey, what's going on, NFL fans, Atlanta Falcons fans? This your boy, Antoine Smith Smith. Smith Sports Machine. Y'all know how I get down. Y'all know how I do it. Go ahead and press that subscribe button. Also, press that notification bell to get my videos as soon as I drop them. Also, catch me on Spotify at Smitty Sports Machine. As I give y'all my weekly picks and my thoughts on some of the blazing hot topics in the world of sports. But, Falcon fans, I want to take a quick time out to... Talk about um, Foye Sade Oluwakan. But y'all know I'm just as Foye. I got to give him, you know, recognition for, you know, breaking out in 2020. Now, he hasn't been bright all season for the Falcons as a defense, but he has come, come, come to play every Sunday, you know, since the season started. And 2019... I actually thought it would be his year to break out. Uh, Deion Jones went out with an injury, missed a couple of games, but they started Duke Riley instead. Olukon played, but you know he didn't shine bright because he didn't he did not get center of attention. But he held it down. Duke Riley held it down. And actually, if y'all want my honest opinion, Duke Riley played better in the middle than he did on the outside, which middle linebacker suited him better, but. That's another story for another day. But Oliver Khan, he still had a solid 2019. But 2020 has been definitely his year. Um, Deion Jones is, you know, still being Deion Jones. He's picking it up as he go. And one thing about the Falcons linebacker, uh, linebacker court, they're pretty small. Uh, Foyer is about 215 to 220, and so is Deion Jones. So, you know, they have to, you know, depend on the defensive line, you know, to – Help them in the run game and clear the lanes for them to make, you know, plays. So, you know, they play solid, you know, no matter, you know, what the case. Their run defense, you know, still pretty stout. But Foyer, um, he started his goal against Dallas when he forced three fumbles in one game. Um, you you see the um, tenacity uh the first game against Carolina where he had 14 tackles. And you see the game uh, – in week eight, you know, against Carolina, he was making plays all over the field, you know, taking uh, direct great angles at the running back. And, you know, he's just all over the field making plays. So, um, you want my honest opinion? The Falcons should be trying to get this guy a contract because come next year when it's uh, his final year on his contract, he's going to have suitors. So, the best thing to do is work him. You know, work out a deal this offseason. See, can you get him from for anywhere between five to seven million? Um, very res respectable contract. But um, Foyer, man, he's been doing his thing. And if y'all didn't know, I just noticed too. Um, if y'all didn't know, he was an Ivy League safety uh, at Yale, and um, I see some of his safety instincts. Uh, you know, in you know. His linebacking play. For instance, I see his instinct up on the line, you know, hitting holes, A gaps, B gaps. You know, he does it very well, does it at the correct angle. I just notice all that, you know. So, Foyer Oluwakan, you know, I think he's going to be in Atlanta Falcons for years for years to come. I hope he can, him and Dion can play alongside each other. Like I said, we don't know what the new culture regime will be, but those two. Linebackers will definitely be a part of the Atlanta Falcons' future. So, I just wanted to give a shout-out to Foyer Oluwakan, you know, uh, for having a solid season so far, halfway through the season. Uh, 54 tackles, one interception, three forced fumbles, and he's steady, you know, putting up numbers. But, y'all drop those comments and questions. Let's debate. Let's have fun, as always. Just give Foyer a shout-out and let him know that you see him out there on the field in 2020. This your boy Antoine Smithy Smith Smithy Sports Machine. I will catch y'all on the flip side, my good people. Peace.